Hey there YouTube. Uh, in today's video I am going to show you how to make the low oil light stop coming on if you don't have low oil. Make 100% sure you have the proper level of oil. Okay, so the sensor is there to protect your motor. So make sure that it's just the sensor that's wrong and not your oil level. Anyway, without further ado, there is a little bugger that causes the issue. That's your oil uh, level sensor and there are two terminals on it and um, this is a this is a Generac 0044563 and so like I said make sure you check your oil make sure it's full mine's actually a little bit over full because I thought that the sensor was telling the truth but it turns out the sensor was just bad um, when you do this, make sure that you set the power to off by centering the rocker switch here. Um, and then unscrew this system fuse here. You just unscrew it like that and it'll pop out. I'm not going to do it because I just set my exercise time, but <laughs> make sure you do that. And also, if you're really concerned, disconnect that positive battery terminal down there after you get the front panel off. Um, and make sure that you don't touch the positive wire to the frame at all because it will short. So like put the positive terminal in like a glove or something. Alright so the first step is to take the front cover off. You're going to take out this bolt here, this bolt here, and that chicken there. Just kidding. Um, you'll see that there is a green cable that grounds the front panel. You're going to disconnect it by separating that piece of wire there it just pulls apart all right so <clears throat> here's the replacement part from generac comes with some replacement contacts here or um, terminals i'm not going to need those and it looks the same so we're off to a good start I'm going to wrap the threads with some Teflon tape, since it looks like they did that with this one. It looks like I'm going to have to be quick about this, because this oil is probably going to come spurting out, so probably good to have some spare oil on hand. I noticed the replacement doesn't have lock washers on the screws. And it looks like they actually put some red Loctite on this thread. So there's some red Loctite there. Which I do not have, so...
and put it back together and don't forget to hook up your green wire there. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Oh, also, when you're pulling on the wires, make sure you don't unplug the wires from this little doodad down here.